Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you watch my morning skincare routine that I posted back in October, then you will already know that I decided to ditch vitamin C for a while, which was a staple in my morning skincare routine for a couple of years in order to test out the Ordinary's Buffet Plus Copper Peptides. This is an anti-aging serum that has some serious claimed benefits. It's supposed to make major improvements in your skin. So I wanted to put it to the test and share my experience with you guys. So in today's video, we are going to be talking everything there is to know about this serum right here, the supposed benefits, the ingredients, the formula, how to use it, the potential negative side effects, and of course, my results in using up an entire bottle. So if you've been curious about this product, if you wanna know if it's worth the hype, you've come to the right spot, we're gonna jump into that in a second, but before we do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and drop a comment below letting me know if you've tested this product out, if you've heard about it, if you've been curious, or if this is completely new to you. Thank you so much for doing all those things. It really helps to support me with the YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate you guys so much. And as always, if you need anything from me at all, check out my description box below because I have Lightroom preset filters to edit your Instagram photos, my SPF merch, discount codes, timestamps, links to any products that I reference in my videos, and links to my favorite beauty products of all time. All right, let's jump into it. All right, let's start off by talking about the ingredients in this serum and the benefits that those ingredients are supposed to have for our skin. So the major star of the show here, of course, is copper tripeptide one. This is an antioxidant that has anti-inflammatory and wound healing benefits. So beneficial to our skin barrier in that sense, but on top of that, it's supposed to be an anti-aging powerhouse. It's supposed to stimulate collagen and elastin production and improve the appearance of signs of aging like skin firmness, texture, lines, and wrinkles. Amazing ingredient, but one of the major reasons why I love this product so much is that unlike a lot of other products from The Ordinary that really highlight only one to two major key ingredients, this has so many other incredible ingredients in it on top of that ingredient, which is already incredible by itself. So the first of those additional ingredients that are really awesome is Lactococcus Ferment Lysate. That is a probiotic ingredient that is newer, so it definitely needs more research around these claims, but it's claimed to positively influence the speed and quality of skin cell growth and improve skin barrier quality and function in doing that. It may also stimulate the production of peptides, so definitely a potentially exciting ingredient, but again, keep in mind it's not fully vetted out yet. Plus, this has tons of other peptides in it aside from the copper tripeptide. I won't list them all off, mostly because they're difficult to pronounce, but I like to think of peptides like this as skin renewing ingredients. So specific peptides will have different benefits and different properties, but in general, they do help to improve similar things like signs of aging, such as lines and wrinkles, skin elasticity, tone, texture, clarity, inflammation and levels of hydration and moisture in the skin. So peptides are amazing ingredients and this is stacked with so, so many of them. But that's not all. Of course, there's even more. There are some great hydrating ingredients in this, like hyaluronic acid, sugar molecules, sodium PCA, sodium lactate. There are 12 different amino acids, which are also very beneficial for a skin barrier. They replenish and hydrate the skin, amazing. And last but not least, this has a lantoin in it, which is a very nice calming and soothing ingredient. So all around, so, so, so many incredible ingredients in this product and so many potential benefits that you could see in using it because of all of those goodies. But in saying all of that, there are also some potential negative side effects that have been swirling around, if you will, as it relates to this product and copper tripeptide in particular. So there are some claims that copper tripeptide can stimulate hair growth growth. That's exciting when it comes to the scalp, but for a lot of us, that is not exciting at all when it comes to our face, and that's not something that a lot of us are trying to achieve. Maybe some, but not all. So that's a little bit scary to hear. There are also claims that this product causes acne, and the last claim that I found to be the most interesting is that if you misuse or overuse copper peptides, they can have the opposite effect that you would want when it comes to signs of aging. So instead of being anti-aging, their claim to promote aging. For the most part, 
All of those claims seem to either be rumored or anecdotal, and that's not to say that if you have tried this product or another product with copper peptides and you feel that you've seen some of those side effects, that that's not true. That's definitely not what I'm saying. It's just that all of those claims need more research to be backed up, and I would say the hair growth one seems to have the most legs to it because there have been some studies done on that, but they're just not extensive enough to prove that from what I've seen at this point that using a product like this on the face is going to make your hair grow in a major way. What I can speak to is my personal experience in using this product for about three months and I have not experienced any of those negative side effects. So again, that's an anecdotal claim. That doesn't mean that the same will be true for you, but hopefully that gives you a little bit of reassurance if you were worried about that. Keep in mind, I am incredibly acne prone. I've never had an issue with this causing me to break out, even within the first few weeks of me using it. And I was really nervous about that. So I was in the clear, thankfully, none of those concerns have held true for me. Okay, so now that we know all about the potential positive and negative side effects in using this product, let's talk about how to actually use it because it is a little bit finicky compared to other skincare products. So I'm just gonna read off some of the recommendations that The Ordinary has on their website. They recommend applying this to the entire face, both in the morning and night after cleansing. I only used it in the morning because of some of the compatibility issues. So they say that because of the huge arsenal of products that they have, some of their formulations are more susceptible to hydrolysis, which is the chemical breakdown of a compound with certain types of vitamin C or direct acid. So instead of them developing a complex guide that lists off the compatibility of each of their products with acids and vitamin C products, they say they have adapted the following approach to maximize efficacy for the maximum number of people. So they say it's best not to use peptides in the same routine as the following products, direct acids, L-ascorbic acid, and ethylated ascorbic acid, and strong antioxidants on top of that. So not just direct acids. In addition, they would recommend avoiding the use of products containing copper peptides in the same routine as all of those ingredients as well. So that doesn't mean that you're going to have issues with hydrolysis no matter what when you use a product with copper peptides, but because of the potential for issue with that and because they are recommending that you don't use it with vitamin C, I decided that I wanted to forego the use of vitamin C in the meantime and I also just wanted to give this a fair test by itself. So that's why I put vitamin C to the side. I also felt confident enough in this product to really give it a fair go based on all of those potential benefits that we just talked about. So I have been using this in the morning only after I cleanse my skin as the only serum in my morning routine and then I follow up with moisturizer and sunscreen and again I do have my morning skincare routine already up. I will list that below. I walk through my step-by-step -step process and all of my favorite products right now. All right, let's talk about this formula and my experience. So this is a very interesting product to apply because for starters it's blue and it also stinks. It does smell acidic. So thankfully, the blue thing is not an actual issue. It's not like this is going to stain your skin blue or tint your makeup or your sunscreen blue. It completely absorbs as if the product were clear. So don't worry about that. It's just the actual product itself and then it goes away. So no concerns there. The smell is also not something that I'm concerned about because it doesn't linger. So it's not like you have a face that smells like vinegar all day long. It's just initially when you're applying it, it's a little bit unpleasant, but it's fine. It's nothing major. So aside from that smell, I actually really do enjoy applying this product because I really like the formula. It's lightweight. It feels very hydrating. It's nice and soft. It just has the right amount of slip to it with without it being too watery and without it being greasy at all. It's not greasy whatsoever, which is great. It does have a little bit of a tack to it when it dries down, but it doesn't feel sticky on the face. I actually enjoy products that have a little tack like that because I find that they make for really nice makeup primers. So once I have moisturizer on anyway, that tacky feeling goes away and this never causes issues with me when it comes to pilling of moisturizer, sunscreen, or makeup. So that's amazing too. So again, I did use up an entire bottle of this. This is actually a newer one that I did repurchase, which is probably a little bit of a spoiler alert as to how much I enjoyed this product, but I used a full bottle and that took me about three months, I would say, 
give or take a little bit of time and prior to using it my skin was in really really great shape i recently posted my three and a half year tretinoin update that'll be listed below as well but in that video i told you guys that it's difficult for me to see serious noticeable results in introducing new skincare products into my routine because tretinoin has already transformed my skin so much so if a product is going to do that for me it's going to be a potent product with potent ingredients and I was excited about this product. I felt hopeful, but because of that, I also was skeptical. I wasn't really sure that I was going to see a major difference in my skin, which is why I was very, very pleasantly surprised when I did actually start to notice improvements. So here's what I feel has changed. Number one, I think the thing that has changed the most drastically is that I think my skin just has this brightness and glowiness to it that it didn't have in such a major way before. I definitely had bright glowy skin from Tretinoin, but I feel like that has really, really improved for me in a noticeable way. So that's both without makeup and with makeup. And I actually was getting this clip that I'm showing you here of my complexion for a serum foundation video. I don't know if that's gonna be up by the time that this video goes up if not stay tuned but I just was like whoa looking at this footage I feel that my skin just has this poppy brightness to it that I didn't notice in that way before I also feel like my skin just looks more plump and hydrated and has almost a little bit more bounce to it which I guess could probably be tied back to the claim that it improves skin elasticity I do feel like I've noticed an improvement there I obviously still am young in the grand scheme of things, so it's not like I had issues with sagging skin before that I can speak to, but I still do feel like I've seen an upgrade in the plumpness and hydration of my skin. And because my skin is looking more plump, I do feel that when I have makeup on, I'm not seeing the lines around my mouth and my eyes look as noticeable. Again, I didn't have major issues with that before, but those were the areas where I did notice fine lines more than the rest of my face. And I feel like they started to improve, which is obviously very welcomed. I did not have any issues with wrinkles prior to using this, so I can't speak to that, but I would be super curious to know, for those of you that do have more apparent wrinkles, did this product make a difference for you? If you've tried it out, let us know in the comments below. And last, when it comes to texture, this was something that I really didn't think I would see a change in at all because Tretinoin has made my skin very, very smooth. Thank God for Tretinoin, we love her so much, but I do feel like I've seen a little bit of an improvement there where I'm just noticing that my skin is looking even smoother than it did before. So small improvement there, nothing drastic, but I am noticing it. So I think that is everything that I wanted to say about the Ordinary's Buffet Plus Copper Peptide Serum. I really hope that this video was helpful for you and helped you to decide whether or not you wanna test this product out. Again, I did repurchase it. This has officially replaced vitamin C for me in my morning skincare routine. At this point, I don't plan to reintroduce that. I mean, maybe someday I will, but I am really, really enjoying the results that I've seen in using this. And I will be curious to see if I see see more improvements in going through a second bottle and over time, you know? I'm super excited about it. I absolutely love it. I would highly recommend it based off of my experience, but again, that's just my experience. So let me know in the comments below, are you going to try this out? Have you tried it before? What was your experience in using it? Again, if you do wanna pick this up after watching this video, I will have it linked and listed below. I will also make sure to list and link all of the products that I'm using and my skincare routine with this in case you wanna pick up any of those too. But that is everything. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend thank you so much again for doing all of those things your support means the world thank you for watching i love you guys so much stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days but until then i hope you have a great few days